So hello everyone. Uh, this is your friend Monius here. So once again I'm back with a new topic of English grammar. So already I talked about uh, present tense and past tense. So today I will describe uh, briefly about the future tense. So first of all, what is future? Future in Assamese we call Bhavishya. In Bangla also we call Bhavishya. So it indicates the future. It means Bhavishya that Like uh, Moi Zam, I will go. Mane, Yate Buzayasu Moi ki, Moi Zam. Moi Zaitoganai, Moi Zuaunai, but Moi Zam. So it's about few seconds. So uh, as like the past tense and present tense, here have also the four types of, uh, it's divided into four. One is future independent tense, one is future continuous tense, one is future perfect tense, one is future perfect continuous tense. So I'll give you one one example of the sentences and uh, with the description. Like uh, I will go, it's in present, uh, sorry, in future independent tense. It means normally, it's about normal things. Okay, so if I if if in future suppose I am going somewhere, then I have to express this like way. I'll be going tomorrow. I'll be going by tomorrow. Okay. So it's about future, but future mein hum usko continuous dekha raha hai ki future mein hum kaise continue karega. Okay. Now about the present, uh, sorry, future perfect tense. Uh, suppose future mein koi kaam mein thora time pehle khatam karenge. I will have done that before my lunch. Lunch ka thora time ke aage mein ye kaam khatam karte hain. Okay, माने लांस करा किसी को मैं आगर को मैं काम को एक कोई दिन So it's about present perfect tense Lastly, I'll talk about the present perfect continuous tense So future में कोई काम शुरू होके वो future में भी खतम करेगा So future और काम को आराम को होई future के होई को हो that's about the future perfect continuous tense. Like I'll give you an example. I will have been uh, I'll have been sitting there from 9.30 to 10.30. So in future of the Moi Express Korea I am telling to someone Moi Ratit Ba Chuagali Moi 9.30 for 10.30 loke kaate moi bohi taake so it's about future perfect continuous tense so i think the basic idea is clear here so i divided the tense into four parts it was basic about the tense after that the part two was about the present present tense part two was about the past tense and this is the part three basic about the Seconds. Okay, I think the concept is a little bit clear and if you have more doubts, please put comments uh, below in my videos in YouTube so that I can back to you guys and uh, I'm always ready to teach you all. So thank you so much and thank you so much for to love and for to subscribe my channel and uh, I think it's a little bit like helpful for you as well so if you get time to watch my video and uh, stay well stay healthy and uh, now it's like the exam time for the higher secondary students and uh, for the plus 10th uh, like matriculation who are giving the 10th exam 10th final exam so all the best to them as well okay thank you Bye bye for the day. See you in the next video. Bye.